Sunday, February 1st, the 12 Duns, south of Riornin. The deceiver is deranged. Of this, I am absolutely convinced. He has brought us here to the 12 Duns, closer to the Trout Domain than any sane man has dared in two generations. We are a mere four hours' march from the lost city of Riornin. The deceiver claims to be held in high regard by the Trow as a being of furor poeticus. He has told us of their battles against the Mercridia and believes he can win the Trow to our cause. Apparently, the Trow are not convinced that our race is worth fighting for, but they have agreed to do battle with Soulblighter for one year if we can defeat them in a game of their devising. The Trow have placed six flags on the field and if we can control the majority at the end of a period of time that they deem fair, they will assist us. To wit, we shall send forth our best warriors to do battle with the trial. Howdy folks, it's Effing Controller, and we're playing more Myth 2 Soul Blighter today, and I think you guys are really going to get a kick out of this level. Um, we have to basically capture as many of these six flags, and I don't see any roller coasters, but we have to capture as many of these six flags on the map as possible by the end of the 12 minute round here. This is uh, based on a multiplayer mode in Myth called uh, Territories, which is basically that. As, uh, uh, at the end of the game, the person with the most flags in their control wins. If, um, if we capture all six flags, we also win, and something that is not mentioned here, uh, if we kill all of the trow, we win. So that is actually the preferred method I think that most people use to beat this level. Uh, I'm going to probably do that. Um, well, no. What I'll probably do is I'll probably try to win it. I don't want to say legit. It's not any less legit to just kill the enemy. But <laughs> but I, I want to try to actually capture the flags if possible. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is going to be a little bit tricky. I don't know if we're going to be able to capture all six, but hopefully we can capture enough to win by the time the time expires. So, um, the thing about these trow, I made a, I made a joke at the start of the, start of the episode, because they will kick the shit out of your units. They, um, have these giant, uh, giant manly calves, and, uh, they will kick you, and most of your units, actually, berserks can take two kicks, sometimes but um, generally speaking if they've taken any damage they'll die from a kick so these guys are are horrible to deal with um, fortunately the AI what they'll do is they'll just split these guys up so dealing with them one at a time that's that's manageable uh, and in, indeed berserks can do a fair amount of damage on these guys but if we were to face two of them at once I would be pooing myself uh, facing one at a time not a great prospect but doable so um, with that in mind, what we're probably going to end up doing, if we want to actually try to capture the flags, we're going to have to try to combine our units. You can see we're split up into two. We're going to have to probably combine these guys and just kind of roam the map. We have to stay mobile. We have to stay agile, hostile, virile, um, etc., etc. Black Isle. Anyways, um... So let's, let's get started here. I do have some Berserks to rename, so I'll actually have to pause the recording because I don't have my list up. Uh, I think that, yeah, there's at least one. So I'll look that up real quick and I'll be right back. We have today, Giohas making his return to the Let's Play. Impossibrew. <laughs> no comment. Um, Durandal in the wrong series, apparently. Uh, D. Taklamakan. Taklamakan. Chaklamakan. I don't know how to pronounce that because I don't know where to put the accent. I am a simple man and I just don't know these things. Uh, Alfonso El Strongo. We will be relying upon your strength today, good sir. And then we have Robin Langholm. And finally, finally, there's one more somewhere. Unicorn Poacher making his, also making his return to the Let's Play alongside Giohas. How neat is that? So let's talk tactics. Um... Basically, I think in this level it would be most appropriate for us to simply kind of range around and try to scoop up flags. Just kind of do a little circuit, do some laps, and uh, we'll inevitably run into the trow. It's going to happen. Um, so we'll have to watch that, but um, we'll just have to do our best. So um, I'm going to set presets while I have the game paused. 
Sometimes what I like to do is send out like a couple to kind of do some cleanup, you know, like capture this one and then go back and rejoin the group or go around in their own way. Uh, the problem is that if I separate my units too much, I get distracted and inevitably those two will find a trow and the trow is faster than them and the trow will kick them to death. So uh, I, I will probably refrain from doing that. Um, so let's get everybody moving to start with. There they go, the three amigos. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, watcher. <sighs> no promises, my friend. Oh my god. That's probably bound to happen, actually. I'm actually gonna have my bowmen keep going. In fact... Let's just have the berserks keep on storming ahead. I want to take this flag and then work up around this way. We could double back. That would be kind of foolish, though. It's actually a long way. This uh, pool of blood here that is endemic to the Trow lands. It's actually not blood. It's iron. What am I talking about? It's hemoglobin, maybe. Who knows? Um, <laughs> getting medical here. Um, it's very deep, so you can't go into it. Uh, the Trow can, because they're very tall. But uh, generally, you will not be able to access areas that are across. Uh, the. You have to find a ford, like here, for instance. So you just go ahead and grab that, sweet dreams, sweetie pie. Yeah. Okay, go over there. Go. Kind of fine doing it this way because our bowmen are so slow. That's probably the big challenge of this level, is just dealing with the, the speed disparity between your units. The bowmen are just preposterously slow. Let's go. And I'm actually going to back you guys off because I want my bowmen to get some... Oh, shit. So... This is a little bit of an issue here. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go ahead and engage him, because there's no way that we're going to be able to avoid him. Can you shoot him? Thank you. Oh, he's going to run away. Maybe we should let him. Meanwhile... So I think that the goals are kind of spawned if you uh, capture a flag. But they're just kind of a mild annoyance. They don't do a whole lot of damage, as you can see. They did hurt uh, Lorder here, which isn't good, but uh, we can deal with it. Wow. Wow. Hell of a noise out there. Uh, so we know that there's a trow in the area. We probably can't really avoid him, but look at this goal up here. He's in a stone cage of emotion! <laughs> Looks like he's having a really good time, actually. Okay. Get, 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 get. So the Trow AI in this level, it's kind of lacking. Because what they sometimes will do is exactly this. They will they will run away for some reason. He should have just run up and kicked me to death, but he is apparently not feeling very kicky today. Yeah, he's just gonna let my archers plink away at him. That is a bad choice. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just let him go. Let's let him go. Because if he captures that flag, I don't really care. Um, meanwhile, we have other things to deal with here. Now, he... Yeah, he, he walked right out of range, so... Let's capture that flag. I don't think we lose if we uh, have six captured against us, incidentally. Um, but... Using this method, I don't think that that'll happen regardless. Yeah, he went and captured that flag, so he's probably going to try to catch up back here. Um, the enemy doesn't really tend to puppy guard, um, or camp, I guess. Um, so it's unlikely, well, I shouldn't say that because, well, we're in visual range of 
whatever would be here. So it, it tends to... Oh, no. I was wrong. I was very wrong. But he might move on. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, for our purposes, we can't really camp uh, the flags. Because if we do... Uh, we'll only have one flag at the end of the match, uh, probably, if we camp in any meaningful number. So, obviously, that's not the way to win this level. If we were to camp everything we had on a flag, we might be able to kill an individual trow uh, as it comes up, but the enemy doesn't necessarily... Um, I, I think that they kind of restrict themselves to certain sectors of the map, basically, so... I don't know what I if what I was trying to convey there came out, but uh, it sounded semi intelligent, which is better than normal. Basically, I'm trying to say that us camping is not feasible for obvious reasons. <laughs> so I was probably belaboring it and making it more complicated than it really is. All right. Damaging the trow though that that's always that's always a good thing. You, you always want to always want to put the herd on him. I'm going to move my bowman over here as I wheel my berserks off in this direction. And that's ours. This one has not been recaptured. You can see there's a trail of footsteps there. So obviously they just went directly for this flag at some point. I don't know if that information is of any use to us, but there you go. I'm going to let my bowman catch up a little bit. What the enemy will do, I, I don't know if I mentioned this already or not, but they will tend to stand on the flag for a little bit and then move on. So, let's see here. Keep going. They might, and they also can go through the middle here. Obviously, I haven't been paying any attention to that, but Over here. sweep this flag real quick. Let's go. So far, we haven't seen too many traces of them. Ah, spoke too soon. like to have my uh, bowman do a little bit of leg work here. Goals are really effective in the multiplayer version of territories for obvious reasons. They move quickly and can do some capping for you. Okay, let's move. I don't see any... Oh, okay, so that just got captured. I'm thinking we won't double back. I think we'll just continue... Well, no. No, let's do that, because we're at six minutes. So if we can control these four, actually, we'll win. But we... Oh, yeah. Boy, howdy. That's a lot of... Hey, guess what? Oh, he doesn't have any fire arrows. So that's too bad. Yes! It's like a Marv Albert. Yes, that was good. Yes! Three more minutes and it's all over. <laughs> well, hopefully they don't capture any of these two up here. I wish it had a timer displayed. I mean, we'll obviously get the loud announcements of our uh, berserks to help us out, but... So yeah. that's ours. I think I'm going to hang out towards the middle here. So that if I need to capture one quickly, I can hopefully move to do that.
Because all, all four of these are easy to get to. These two are kind of crappy. Uh, you can only get to them by going through this fort here or this fort here for this one. And then this one has this bullshit going on. So I like this spot right here. Thank you very much. Although this one's a little bit out of reach now, but... I bet that they're going to go for this one. It's a risky wager. Sometimes if you're lucky... Nah. I was going to say, sometimes if you're lucky you can hear them moving, but I don't think that that's... Uh, Oh! So we're gonna go over here, I guess. Actually, let's do this. No, 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 that's a terrible idea. I was gonna put my archers on the wall here. That's a bad idea, though, because uh, if we do that, we won't be able to get to get there to help them, should they need our assistance. I bet there's a trout here. <laughs> yeah, we need to get onto that flag right quick. That is a trow, okay. That's the one that we hit earlier. We might be able to kill him. I actually want him to get distracted by us, so... Tell you what. Alfonso, be strong. Fly free. He's gonna capture that flag. We've only got 30 seconds left. Oh, God, okay. Hang on. He doubled back. Just run. Just run. Oh my god, they're gonna walk right by the archers. We won! We won! We won! Indeed! And that's how you do that. Oh, I'm really pleased with how that went, but um, I'm going to try to do it by killing all of the trow. I won't probably... I mean, this is a great result. Having everybody survive is excellent. So um, probably when we start the next level, I'll go off of this result. But just for shits and giggles, uh, we're going to try to kill all of the trow. And it will be uh, a horrible, horrible bloodbath, but it'll be fun. Okay, okay let's try to kill everything. Um... So, I mean, you could just follow... Well, I don't know if following them to the middle is the best idea. We do know... Um, I mean, I think that they go... They fan out and try to capture these. And generally, I think that how the AI works is... They'll have one trout guarding these two, one trout guarding these two, and then another guarding these two. So, um, what I'll do... We'll take this one. Let's just move over here. Let's set that preset... Well, I've got the game paused. Fine, whatever. I just need you guys to start moving. We will, of course, run into... Um, what's their butts? Uh, goals. <laughs> I only have 12 minutes. Duly noted. I will write that in my... My little black book. Let's go. Okay, let's speed things up a little. I don't see a flag on this hill. Maybe you're the key to the entire battle, though, my dear friend. Yeah. He's not. Okay, so... So that... Okay, that's what I thought. That one's just been captured. Yeah. We're at half speed for some reason. <laughs> So I think that, if memory serves me right, Chairman Kaga style, he will come down and try to capture this flag. Can't hear him, but that's okay. I think that was patched out really early in the game's uh, existence. It may not even have been a thing. I could be just totally confused. Could have sworn that you could hear the enemy if they had trow, you could hear them moving. Yeah. Which would be kind of a cool mechanic when you Let's think go. about it, but... 
No, it wouldn't. It would be totally unfair. If your men can't hear... It's like going over here and taking a listen. Yeah, that's... What am I talking about? What an idiot. Um, so there's a trow. Okay, that's a trow moving towards us. We don't want that. So he's he's defending right now. He's he's saying don't don't step to this. Oh shit! So I'm gonna keep my berserks actually close because there are goals approaching. And the trow is moving on over to that locale. Fine, just kill him. Oh shit. Nice. Yes. Simultaneous kill there. That was well orchestrated. Oops. He's not dead. see a trowel there yet, but yeah. doesn't mean he's not there. Come on, Mr. Trow. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. moving probably a little bit too quickly through this, but uh, again, not. I, I don't think that the game will um, end if they capture six. We've I mean, eight more minutes of this. I could be hilariously wrong, but There you go, there's one. I feel like I'm fishing. I'm moving. Very pleasant. I'm moving. So if I can get him to... Oh, sit tight there, friends. I've got him... Uh, I've got him duped. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh god. Over here. Yep, just just kill him. Oh shit. Casualty. Oh god, this isn't how you do this. Yes. Losing Bowman, incidentally, is a disaster. Yeah, we just lost one. Um pretty bad for this level to lose Bowman because they are your primary way of whittling down the, the health of the trow before um, they come up and kick you in the face. Um, two of our berserks were kicked, incidentally, Taklamon and uh, Lorder, but they somehow have managed to survive. They probably have like a ruptured spleen or um, undescended uh, testicles or something like that, some grievous medical condition. Just... Boy, the goals are really annoying in this level. <laughs> that is not helpful. That is deeply counterproductive, archers. Let's see if we can get another. Oh God! <laughs> He's like, ha, huh, psych. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What are you do okay, yeah, you're kicking my archers. <laughs> Casualty. 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 <laughs> well we're we're making progress. Despite my best efforts. Let's see if we can find the last one. And again, we will win if we uh, do it this way. At what cost, though, dear viewer? At what cost? Let's so let's head over here, actually. Only three bowmen. That's that's bad. We can't really 
do too much damage to them preliminarily if we have that few. We should still be able to kill the last one, but they're horrible. They're just horrible to deal with. I hate Trow. What's that massive spectators there? Yeah. Three more minutes and it's all over. Okay, let's go to this one then. Oh shit. Over here. So if we capture this, they're gonna have to. Yeah, he's gonna have to step to this. You don't want to step to this. I'm just going to let the bowman get totally kicked. It's contested now. There you go. Thanks for helping, guys. <laughs> Casualty. 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 <laughs> Oh god. I don't know actually you guys. We may not be able to do this. Casualty. Almost. Casualties. There you go. We got two left. We win. <laughs> hey, we won, lads. Hang us all around. There's literally one other person left. So, <laughs> I don't know why you are saying lads, but <laughs> that was delightful. I again, I'm going to go with the previous result because it was much better. So in any event, uh, we've won twice. Once well, once badly. Uh, so one should be a case study in excellence. This is a case study in being an asshole and getting your troops killed, uh, which is really what myth is all about. So I felt obliged to uh, show you that particular method for that reason. So until next time, this has been Effing Controller playing Myth 2 Soulblighter. I'll see you guys later.